Hello from the prayer team. And today we're going to talk about practicing the presence of God. The presence of God is encouraged by Jesus, even of practicing it and being with him. He talks about it in uh, I am the vine and you are the branches in John 15. I'll quote him here. John 15, 5 says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. And apart from me, you can do nothing. So I don't know about you, but I'd like to bear fruit in my walk with Christ. And so this uh, practice is going to help us walk through that. So it's really no matter what season you're in, you're a college student, you're a high school student, you're a parent with, with just kiddos, littles, you're a parent with teenagers, you're a parent with young adults, you are a grandparent, um, you're in the midst of a pandemic. Any kind of situation uh, can be adaptable to this practice. Um, so the busy lifestyle, or maybe you're in a place where you can be a little bit more intense or intentional with what we're going to walk through today. But today, I guess I'm going to be on the lighter side and have fun with it because it really is about you making it your own and being creative, even playful, um, switching it up, being gracious to yourself, and just just finding your own way. So uh, I want you to enjoy abiding with Jesus. You're going to find a fresh filling of grace in the day in each one in these steps. You're going to keep God's perspective in your day and you're going to have these great little opportunities to respond to God in adoration and thanksgiving, even a request and petition trusting him, knowing your identity, and knowing his character. You can attach all these things in your day. So the goal here really is to develop your um, your muscle memory of recentering your mind uh, to naturally abide with Jesus in the small and the big things in your day. So let's go to the steps. First of all, I really want to caution that this is not a checklist for you to make for your day and check it up. Um, it's a practice. And in fact, if you forget to do one of these steps in your day, I want to have you practice receiving God's grace. He loves you no matter how you finish any of these steps. So the first step is to plan ahead and select um, a daily task, uh, scenery that, that you see in around you, words, specific words that you often look at or hear, days of the week, or even taking your phone and setting your alarm for certain hours of the day, or also using a phone app that can cause you to pause, um, be aware of God in that moment of your ordinary day. So let me give you some examples. Maybe while you're at the sink washing your hands, we've heard that one where people say to um, uh, repeat like Psalms 23 or a scripture passage. Uh, putting on your shoes, don't we all do that every day? When we go out and we run our errands, or we're at the kitchen sink washing our dishes, um, a certain intersection that you pass every day when you're on your way to work, putting salt on your food. Um, the next thing I want you to do is once you've selected some of those things, and be creative again, these are just my ideas, um, attach a simple prayer, thanksgiving, adoration, a request, God's character, or your identity to each one of those things that you have selected. So let me give you an example. I am the salt of the world and the light when I put a salt on my food. Or I set an alarm to pray at noon for persecuted Christians around the world where I pray for God to be their strength as they go through this trial. Um, I'm going to have you watch a couple other ones that I've selected in my day. Running my errands for the day and remembering I'm a carrier of the Prince of Peace. I pass this sign every time I go out and I choose to yield to God's way. 
in my life and not try to do things my own way. Putting on my shoes of the gospel of peace. The gospel of Jesus Christ goes with me wherever I go. Today, the calendar says Wednesday, W. Walk by faith and not by sight. Those were fun, right? So it's really about being creative and having a, a good time. You're just, you're having this fun conversation with God throughout your day. Or it can be a deep conversation. It really depends on, on what season of life that you're in. Uh, so it's about recentering on Jesus during your day, reminding yourself of who he is and who you are, and you're abiding in Christ. And if I may read another scripture passage in Psalms 19, verse 14, it says, May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. So the words of our mouth are expressing how we feel um, or what we know and solidifying who God is and our identity and the meditation of our hearts. We're like filling our souls with, um, with good food and it's meditating on it, stewing on it. Um, God's, God loves this. He wants to rebuild our trust in our day. He wants to renew our perspective and he also wants to restore our union with him. Enjoy your day and your week creatively coming up with ways that God uh, meets you with his presence. And we'll see you next week.